Welcome to dealing with materials data. In this course, we are trying to understand the collection analysis and interpretation of materials data. Uh, we have done two modules so far, one is introduction to R, the second one is uh, descriptive statistics using R. This is the summary of the second module on descriptive statistics using R. Um, so, we have learnt uh, how to visualize data. So, we have learnt how to use scatter plot, dot chart and stem and leaf plot for visualizing data. Then we have learnt how to prepare rank based reports of data uh, which includes cumulative distribution, histogram and box and whisker plots. Uh, we also have learnt how to prepare summary reports for data. Uh, mean, median, variance, standard deviation and quantiles are the quantities that one calculates in the summary based reports. Uh, one has to learn uh, about the significant digits in a given data. Sometimes when you do this analysis, uh, computer returns a large number of uh, decimal points, uh, but beyond the point some of these uh, numbers are not meaningful and so we should not uh, report them. Um, this is like for example, if you say that uh, price of uh, some 3 things is uh, 100 rupees and each one costs how much. So, we are not going to report uh, the resulting number beyond second decimal place because below paisa there is nothing, there is no meaningful um, number that you can quote. So, this is uh, similar in all cases. For example, we have seen that conductivity measurement itself is up to first decimal place, then it uh, makes sense to report uh, the means and standard deviations etc. up to first decimal place. This does not mean that when you are doing the calculation you will always do only up to first decimal place. It is a good idea to keep uh, the extra digits and uh, round off only at the last step when you report the numbers. Uh, so, but it is important to know the significant digits in any given scenario and report uh, data only up to that. Uh, we have also learnt how to report errors. You can report it in absolute terms and in relative terms and uh, we have learnt how to present data uh, with error bars because in order to understand trends in any given data, it is not sufficient just to look at the mean values, but you should also look at the uh, error bars in the data. And we have learned how to classify errors and we have learned that error propagates and we have learned how to quantify this uncertainty propagation uh, either by using some uh, analytical uh, calculations or by using Monte Carlo simulation. So, either way you can find out how the error propagates. So, these are the things that we have covered. We have also learnt a few important things in doing this course in this uh, um, module. Uh, first thing is uh, you have to understand your data and the, the errors. So, visualizing that data is a very good way of understanding the data and visualizing with error bars is a nice way to understand the errors in the data. And it is always important to pay attention to the outliers. Uh, some amount of effort is needed to understand why they are there and it will help you improve uh, the experiments or understand what is happening better. We saw one example where there was an outlier in the electrical conductivity measurement and a uh, little bit of analysis showed that uh, the, the measurement methodology was not ap applicable for that scenario and that is why we got some meaningful and uh, numbers which were not in tune with the rest of the numbers. So, uh, they, they were not consistent with the rest of the data. Uh, so, we have also learnt that while analyzing trends, it is uh, important to incorporate the error information and uh, we have understood the importance of uh, propagation of errors. Uh, and so, if you measure some quantity and if it has some uncertainty, any subsequent uh, analysis that you do using that data also picks up the uncertainty from these quantities. And we have also learnt that the materials data uh, is uh, broadly of two types, uh, one which can be represented uh, by summary reports uh, like conductivity for example. So, it follows nice normal distribution. So, it is sufficient to give the mean and standard deviation that completely describes the data. This is because every measurement gives one number and the fluctuation that you see is random, it is a noise. So, it can be very well described by the uh, normal distribution. But on the other hand, uh, some materials data can only be represented in uh, rank based reports. 
you need to give things like histograms to describe uh, these uh, data. And if you just use rank based reports like we found for example for phase 2, it looked as if uh, there were so many outliers. It was as if, uh, if, if you assume that the data is normal, then obviously it is not normal because of which you find that, that uh, compared to the mean up to 6 sigma you found data points and they were all only on one side. So, it is obviously not a normal um, uh, distribution. So, uh, it is better to describe such data using the appropriate uh, distribution. Uh, it is not a good idea to assume that it is normal and uh, assuming that it is normal or not uh, can also have a say on understanding the further results. So, we have found an example that if you are trying to calculate the uncertainty propagation uh, using grain size data, whether you are going to assume that uh, it is normal and the errors are normal or it is not, it is log normal for example is going to make uh, a difference to your analysis. So, it is important to know, um, it is also important to report these quantities, sometimes in the literature these quantities are not reported, uh, then it becomes very difficult to understand or analyze the data. And uh, finally, wherever possible, of course, we should use both rank and summary based reports because that is the most complete information that one can give. The best is to actually give raw data and it is recommended to give it as supplementary data. But in addition, when you do any analysis, uh, we should give the analysis methodology and we should give as much of information as possible in terms of summary based and rank based reports so that a complete picture of data is presented. Thank you.